Okay, so uh, I wanted to show people uh, something I've been working on that I think might be useful to a lot of you guys. Um, and that is the past couple week or so, the past week or so I've been working on I, so I've wanted to have a blog on my website for a long time just because you know I want to like I want to put up updates just to keep me on task and stuff like that. Um, so especially now that I'm starting my dissertation and I'm gonna be like I'm basically gonna be a neat like I don't have to go to classes or anything at a daily basis. So it'd be nice to keep myself on task. Now. I am not a big fan of a lot of blogging software out there. You know, I don't want to use WordPress or anything that's too bloated. Uh, I want to have something that just generates HTML pages really simply, uh, not even a static page generator, just something that's very, like, m makes sense. I don't have to, you know, write anything in Markdown and convert it to HTML and do all the silly stuff. Um, so I ended up writing a little blog system that might be worth uh, checking out uh, if you're interested. Um, so it's actually written in less than a hundred lines of shell script. Uh, in fact, I think it's, if I actually look at it, I think it's uh, considerably less. Yeah, it's just 71 lines. That's all you need. Um, but it does everything that I need, uh, and it gives you some nice different interfaces that might be interesting. Let me show you how it looks on my website. Um, so right now I just have it here. Um, so there are different inter different ways of looking at it. So the page I have linked here is a rolling blog page. And this is originally the only thing I wanted, but it has other stuff uh, in addition to this. And that is, uh, when I put up an, a blog entry, it appears here as a, a, you know, a new entry. Of course, they're in chronological order. Uh, auto generates the date, uh, gives me a title. One of the nice things that it, is it generates links. So it generates, the first link is like a link to the header. So if I click on this link, it actually takes me directly to the header. And of course you can copy this. Um, oh, I'm not even on my website, I'm, I'm on the offline one, but it doesn't matter. But um, you can just copy the HTML that it generates um, uh, in the standalone link if you want to uh, link directly to that entry. So you can just copy this, share it with someone else, and it goes directly to that entry, as you know, you probably have seen in other sites, but it's nice having this automatic. Um, uh, additionally, in addition to that, it generates a link to a standalone page. So if you just want to view one alone, you can do that just as well. Now, I don't have the kind of thing where like it cuts off after a point. I might integrate that later, but really my goal, like what I want to have, like what I like in blogs is when they're just, everything is just on one page. And if you only use plain text, it doesn't really get that big. So my idea is like, um, right, my blog page here, this isn't part of the system necessarily, but mine is 2008.html. And my idea is after 2008, I'll start using 2009 or something like that. That way the pages don't get too big. But my idea is like on this page, everything should be there. Um, but, you know. If you don't like it, you can probably change the, the, the script around. Um, but So it generates the, these links, it generates uh, standalone pages and stuff like that. It also, when you finalize a link, it automatically adds it to the RSS feed. Um, so you can check my RSS feed and you'll see that all the syntax is actually here as well. Actually, let me just open up my RSS feed manually. Um, so you'll see that it generates, it, of course it takes that H HTML, takes all the metadata it needs and puts it into some kind of, you know, gives it a unique ID, uh, the date, and stuff like that, then it needs to be read properly by RSS readers. So all of that is like totally automatic. Um, let me show you how you actually use, oh, and the other interface I should say, which is uh, something I've been playing around with. I don't know if you uh, checked out my website recently, but I've been playing around with this for other stuff. Like, you know, Apache has this, you know, we're all familiar with it probably, but people don't use it much often, like where Ap Apache can just generate the directory contents for a folder. So you can see the content uh, contents of my Proto-Indo-European folder here. But the same thing is true of the blog posts. So you can go to slash blog. Um, and these are actually out of order because I've been playing around with them, but uh, if you don't mess around with them since you're not figuring out the system like I am, uh, it'll automatically add them and you can list them uh, in chronological order or something like that. Um, if you don't know how to do this for, you know, Apache, just look up how to make an Apache, uh, what is it, like indexes or something like that. Um, but anyway, so how does this blog system actually work? What's the actual interface? I'm going to go to my website directory. Um, and you'll see here the script here 
LB, that's the name of my blog system, is symlinked. So if you just run it by default, it gives you some directions, but I'll talk about those in a second. To add a new entry, it really just has three commands, new, finalize, and delete. So new, uh, it asks for a title. Let's say, you know, this is a blog post title. Um, and you go into, it opens up, uh, I think, in it might be Vim, I might want to change it to your default editor, but it opens up uh, you know, a page where you can actually add the content. So this is the content. And of course, this is, you know, it's just an HTML, so you can do uh, whatever you want here. Um, save that, and now when you're done modifying the file, it's actually stored, as it says here, it's stored in uh, slash blog uh, slash dot drafts. Um, now, if you want to get rid of that draft, all you have to do is just RM it. That's all you have to do. Uh, but if you want to finalize it, what you should do is run LB finalize, and that will give you a list of all your drafts currently. I just have one, so I'm going to pick that one. And it's now finalized. Now, what that means is it adds it first off to the HTML like rolling blog page. So here it is here. This is the content. Uh, standalone page, um, this is the content, uh, nice and simple, adds the author name below and stuff on the standalone page. And it also, it's not going to work on my URL link, but I can, because I haven't updated my website. But if I go to uh, my RSS feed offline, you'll see that here it's all been added to the RSS um, feed, re uh, the RSS feed or whatever. So all of that is automatic. Now let's say this is just in an example post. I don't actually want to push this to my website. Um, so what you can do is just run LB delete to delete an old post and that generates a list of all the posts that you have um, and I want to get rid of, uh, I should probably have this ordered chronologically, that would be a little easier. But yeah, I'll, I'll do that in a second. Um, so all you have to do is select the one you want to get rid of um, say yes and then it actually it deletes the file the standalone file and it also deletes all that information from the RSS feed and the rolling blog page so if I go back to this this that entry is now going to be gone okay so that's pretty much all the system does it, again it's really simple you just create blog posts and it'll convert it to RSS syntax and whatever else you need if you want to delete a post it will do that automatically so one thing the one thing it doesn't do since it's not like a, a database or it doesn't generate pages on the fly is if you want to modify a post um, you would basically have to modify the standalone page and the um, you know the the rolling blog list and the RSS feed separately. Uh, that's not the intended interface, just because. And it would probably be a little more difficult to add something like that, just because there can be a, there can be a lot that varies between files. So uh, I mean I. I'm the kind of person I don't like revise things like I don't believe in correcting spelling checks or spelling mistakes or whatever so I don't care but you know whatever uh, so it might not be for you if uh, you're the kind of person who is like that that's what I'm trying to say um, and the last thing is uh, what is the last thing just two seconds ago in my head I was like oh I gotta say this one more thing what what is the the last thing I have to say um, I don't know maybe that is it I'm gonna forget it. I'm gonna turn off the camera and come back in a second when I remember Okay, I remember. Um, the last thing is, the, the other thing that's sort of important to remember is like, when it's generating these entries in the web, like the rolling blog page, all of this is like, I mean, it actually creates, if you look at the source of it, it is um, a div of the class entry or something like this. So all the user interface, or not user interface, all the decoration I have, like the fact that this is a slightly darker gray and the sidebar here, all of that is just CSS. So for a lot of this stuff, if you want like a your blog to look totally different from mine, um, you can change it, all the stuff like how ind individual entries look or how... Um, you know, if you want them all as individual squares on a page or something, something totally unreadable, uh, all of that's a possibility. All the thing does, and well, I should say, you can go into um, the actual script uh, and change any number of variables of the things, uh, you know, that are at stake. So, of course, you know, here you can set your individual website, which is obviously not the same as mine. You're going to want to change that or the stuff up here. You can also change, I think, yeah, things like the header or the footer to the the individual page. 
the date that is displayed on the website. This stuff is lower down because it has to be called lower down. But um, yeah, so you can play around with it. Again, it is less than 75 lines. So um, it, do it doesn't have all the functionality and that again, it can't like, um, you know, uh, like change the content of already published blogs unless you want to do it manually. But uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed, like this is pretty much all I need for a blog. So it's probably the kind of stuff I'm going to be using. Um, so anyway, but that's about it and I'll see you guys uh, next time. Hope you learned something.